Jacques Michel Gabriel Paul Binoist Mechin, the 1st of July 1901 to the 24th of February 1983, was a French far-right politician and writer. He was born and died in Paris. Well known as a journalist and historian, he would later become prominent for his collaborationism under the Vichy regime. After being condemned in 1947 and released from prison in 1954, he became a specialist of the Arab world in the second part of his life. Early years Binoist Mechin was educated at leading schools in Switzerland and the United Kingdom as well as the Lycée Louis Le Grand before attending the Sorbonne. He subsequently served in the French army, spending the period from 1921 to 1923 as part of the forces involved in the occupation of the Rhineland. He then became a journalist, working for the International News Service from 1924 to 1927 and was appointed editor of L'Europe Nouvelle in 1930 by Louise Weiss. Political career A critic of democracy Binoist Mechin joined the French Popular Party in 1936. A noted Germanophile, he joined the Comité France la Magna, a group dedicated to fostering closer links between the two countries. Despite this his earlier military service meant that when war broke out between the two countries in 1939 he was mobilized and during the Battle of France he was captured and for a time held as a prisoner of war in Vauves. He was quickly freed however and served as chief of the POW's diplomatic mission to Berlin, aimed at securing the release of those held in Germany. In the main the Germanophile Binoist Mechin somewhat welcomed the German occupation of France during World War II. He served as an undersecretary in the François Darlin regime and, along with Pierre Pucheu and Paul Marion, became part of the so-called Young Cyclists group of pro-German Darlin loyalists. The 11th of May 1941, he accompanied Darlin to Berchtesgaden in order to negotiate military facilities in Syria for Germany with Hitler. In early 1942 he received from his personal friend Otto Abbots an offer that would guarantee France effective independence if the country agreed to become a military ally of Germany, although when the offer was officially made the terms had been watered down somewhat. Despite this loss of face Binoist Mechin was an enthusiastic collaborator who claimed that France was working with Germany rather than opposing her and risking further defeat or working for her and thus becoming subservient. He was briefly the official ambassador for the collaborationist government in occupied Paris although early on this role passed to fellow Germanophile Fernand de Brinon, a minister without portfolio in Vichy France. Binoist Mechin's influence grew when he, along with his allies Paul Marion and Joseph Darnand, was appointed to the controlling committee of the Légion des Volontaires Français in June 1942. In this position he suggested renaming the group Légion Tricolore and converting it into a professional military unit, an idea soon adopted. Increasingly sidelined by Pierre Laval, Binoist Mechin was involved in plotting with Darnand and Jacques Doriot for the three men to form a pro-Nazi triumvirate to administer Vichy France but the plan came to nothing. He was arrested in September 1944 for his role as collaborator. His trial began on 9 May 1947 before the High Court of Justice. He was accused of tactical and strategic collaboration with the enemy. On 6 June, Binoist Mechin was sentenced to death in Indignité Nationale. He was pardoned on July 30 by President Vincent Oriol and on 6 August his death sentence was commuted to life imprisonment and later to 20 years. He benefited from a remission of sentence 24 September 1953 and was released on parole in November 1954, when he was freed from Clairvaux. Immediately before and following his release Binoist Mechin wrote for a number of right-wing journals, notably Acrets de Paris and Paroles Françaises, the organ of the Republican Party of Liberty. He was a member of the Union des Intellectuals Independents, along with the likes of Pierre Antoine Cousteau, and was co patron with Maurice Bardèche of L'Union Realiste, a group that sought to glorify the Vichy years. Writing As a writer, he produced a history of the German army in ten volumes, whilst De la Défaite au Désaster, his Memoirs of the Collaboration Period, was published in 1984. His 1941 work Le Moisson de Courant was an earlier memoir, specifically concerned with his time as a POW, whilst he would later write an interpretation of Adolf Hitler's Mein Kampf. 
Before the war he had been most noted as an Arabist and was a prominent admirer of Ibn Saud. Personal life Benoist Mechen was a patron of the famous Paris bookshop Shakespeare and Company and during the Second World War used his connections to secure the release of the shop's American-born owner Sylvia Beach from a spell of internment. He befriended James Joyce and made an early French translation of Molly Bloom's monologue from Ulysses, and also provided the musical transcription of Little Harry Hughes, photographed for episode 17. He also corresponded with Ernst Junger during the German scholar's residence in occupied France. He also developed a close friendship with Union movement leader Oswald Mosley whilst the latter lived in France after the war. <laughs> Publications Histoire de l'armée allemande 1936, de l'armée impériale à la Reichwehr 1918-1919. De la Reichwehr à l'armée nationale 1919 to 1938. De Vienne à Prague 1938-1939. Éclaircissement sur Mein Kampf d'Adolf Hitler, le livre qui a changé la face du monde 1939. Le Moisson de Courant, Journal d'une prisonnière de guerre 1941. L'Ukraine, des origines à Staline Albin Michel, 1941. C.E. Key de Muir, Lettre de soldats tombés au champ d'honneur, 1914-1918 Série du rêve la plus longue de la histoire Editions Perrin au Tempus pour la collection de Poch, Laurence de Raby, Le rêve fracassé 1961, Existe aussi en collection de Poch de Pou 2008 Cléophatra, Le Rêve Evanoui 1964. Bonaparte en Egypte, Le Rêve Anasuvi La Guille du Livre 1966, Lausanne, Perrin, 1978 Liute l'Africaine au Le Rêve Imolé L'Empereur Julien, Le Rêve Calcinet 1969. Alexandre Le Grand, Le Rêve Dépassé Egolemon ed. Clairefontaine et la Guille du Livre Lausanne, 1964. Frederic de Hohenstaufen, Le Rêve Excommuné, 1980, Existe aussi en collection de Poch de Pou 2008, Le Lou et le Léopard, Mustafa Kemal, La Mort d'une Empire, 1954. Ibn Sayod, La Naissance d'une Royaume, 1955. Le Roy Saud, Au l'Orient à l'heure des Relives, 1960, Soit en jour qui l'Occident, 1956, La Bataille du Nord 10 mai 4 juin 1940. La Bataille de France 4 Juin 1940-25 Juin 1940 Le Fan du Régime 26 Juin 1940-10 Gilet 1940, Un Printemps Arabe 1959. Der Etes Africains 1972. Odestins Rampus 1974. Fécal, Roy de Raby 1975. Lum et ses jardins, les metamorphoses du paradis terrestre 1975. La musique et la mortalité dans l'oeuvre de Marcel Proust 1977. De la défaite au désastre 1984-1985, posthume. A l'épreuve du temps 1989-1993, posthume Nouvelle édition revisité en 1 seul tome Peru en mai 2011 chez Perrin. Histoire des Alouites 1994, posthume.